Every day, there's something new that comes along grabbing our attention that seems like it's life-threatening, an existential threat that we've got to pay attention to right now, immediately at this very moment. But how do we stay calm, level-headed, and stay focused on preparedness during these times of change and uncertainty? Let's talk about it. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chris, and on this channel, we discuss emergency preparedness, aka prepping. I just did a poll today asking you, the community, how you stay level-headed during these times of uncertainty. And I got a lot of good feedback. The responses were, I'm putting more emphasis on getting my preps in order, that was 16%. I'm ignoring the media and other noise, that's 17%. I'm trying to encourage others to prepare as well, that came in at 5%. I'm working on my mental health, I don't allow myself to get overwhelmed, that came in at 13%. And then the final option was all of the above, and that came in at 49%. And let me just give you a little tip about this, uh, the polls that I do. Usually the all of the above is usually the right answer. I find uh, I probably will stop putting that uh, because everybody usually checks that. But anyway, all that to say, it was pretty insightful to see that, yes, in the community, a lot of people are experiencing these same issues and they're trying to, and I feel like, including myself, and we'll talk about this more in a moment, that we're all trying to find ways to make sure that we keep the right perspective, that we stay level-headed during these times because it's so easy to get caught up in the fear and the hype with everything that's happening. In the comments section, I got a lot of great feedback and the two most common were losing weight, physical fitness, and gardening. And let me just tell you, these are two excellent ideas. I wish I would have put those into the poll because currently, uh, I haven't really mentioned this much on the channel, I'm trying to drop weight. Uh, I'm dropping weight or I'm really trying to. I did a uh, marathon at the end of no or October and since that time, I started putting on a little weight because I kept eating like I was during the marathon. I found I started gaining weight. So I'm trying to back off and just drop about 15 to 20 pounds over the next four to six months. For me, this is not about vanity, but more about just making sure that my, my health is in a uh, healthy place, uh, no pun intended. And it's something that I see as very important. And look, I'll be honest about my current situation. Again, in the context of this conversation, staying level-headed, uh, the last few months for me personally have been exhausting. And I've had a few people that have reached out via uh, messaging, Instagram, a few other platforms asking me if everything's okay. And the short answer is yes, I'm fine. Um, I have been exhausted, I'll just put it that way. And I'll share a little more about personal details here in a moment toward the end of the video about kind of what's going on and why I seem a little drained here lately. Now, during these times, Again, getting back to the main conversation, it's it's difficult to stay level-headed. There's so much that's being thrown at us. A lot is happening in the world. In a recent poll I did just a few weeks ago, I asked, or rather last week, I asked the community, you, I said, what is your timeline that you believe for SHTF, for some type of event or a moment when we begin to tip over into a timeline where things will probably accelerate, get more difficult? And 44.7% of the community responded that it's already started in their view and their estimation of that most are really in denial of what's happening. And clearly the community, the general consensus is that things are already escalating. And let me start off by saying this. Again, I'm trying to shape this, I guess, these, these polls and this information that I'm getting back to you. I'm trying to kind of piece this together in the context of this conversation. I'm saying all this because here lately, I've had to be careful about my own mental health. Um, one of the challenges on a channel like this is because of the nature of this channel. We, you know, really have to sit down and study and prepare these videos. It can be draining when you begin to look at the issues that we're facing, the things that are coming on the horizon. I'm getting personal emails, uh, people in different uh, commercial and, uh, you know, industries that are seeing things that most of the general population is not getting information on. And a lot of it's useful, actionable information I'm trying to shape into content coming soon. But all that to say, I'm trying to be careful with this channel that I'm not letting it turn into a full, you know, kind of a, a, a full-blown doom and gloom, nonstop problems, because I know that would be easy to go in that direction. And I'll be honest here lately, I've kind of reviewed my library, so to speak, of what I put out. And I feel that it's at least some feedback that I'm getting from the community is that um, I want to make sure that I'm staying on the right track. And I, I don't want to go down that path is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. The challenge is the time that we live in, it seems like the titles seem to write themselves for the videos, every you know the events that are coming along. And for me, the big push that I'm making with this channel, I'm trying to pivot it to a more practical do-it-yourself type of videos. These type of videos are typically a lot more time-consuming to film, edit, narrate, get everything in line. 
and the more what I would call informational type of videos of what's going on. Those seem to get way more hits and they're a lot less time consuming. So there is a balance and a challenge that comes as a YouTuber trying to create this kind of content. But all that to say, I apologize to you, the community, if I've missed a mark as of late, if I've allowed the channel to go into a little more of a negative approach or rather discussion in the videos, I that's not the direction I want to take it. I'll put that, I'll put it that way. I'm very aware. And again, it's it's been a challenge here lately as I've studied and I've listened to the community and I see what's on the horizon. And I'll talk about that more in a moment. But all that to say, how do we keep level headed? Because that's really what I want to discuss. I apologize for the long road to get here. But all that to say, how do we stay level-headed? For me, there's several things. I've had to, number one, unplug from what's happening around the world, being careful how much information I pull in. I get it. There's a lot of challenges. I have to be careful where I get the information from. There are a lot of outlets that constantly just pump it because they know that's what gets the clicks and the ad revenue, and their spin is often so negative. So all that to say, depending on where you get information, the, the way it's presented, I'll put it that way, can be... Um, represented in so many different ways. And so all that to say, that's the first thing is I'm having to learn to really guard my own mental health and being careful what information I take in. If I feel that something is so overly negative over and over and over, for me, I'm trying to back off of that. That's not to say I'm denying what's happening, but there are a lot of sources where I can get information that, let's just say, does it always pump the fear aspect? Uh, so some other things that I'm doing that, again, I'm just listing out a few things that I have found that's been very helpful audiobooks or books on fiction, for me, it just helps me escape. Um, at nighttime, I, I can't really allow myself to read or listen to audiobooks on heavy materials or even uh, business books. <laughs> it kind of fires my mind up and it, it gets me engaged. I, I find that fiction, especially I grew up with sci-fi a lot, Star Trek and uh, things like that. So it's, in, it's easier for me to listen to the type of material that's way more fiction-based that for me, it just helps me to let my mind uh, get away for a moment. Uh, another thing that I've been doing lately that's been helpful is reevaluating my preps, taking stock and inventory. And I'm always trying to find ways to improve what I'm doing. There's been, even here lately, and I'll uh, kind of talk about this soon on the channel, um, I'm doing a lot to reevaluate my own setup, and I found some holes and some things that I can work on. Now, all that to say, have I hit my goals and where I want to be and what, what, what I want to do personally to prepare? Not yet but I'm working on them. And I, I just want to say that because I know a lot of times it's easy for a channel like this. Someone can look at channel and say, well, that person's got all their ducks in a row. He's been doing it for a long time. And I will tell you, uh, it's an ongoing process. I don't feel like I've ever arrived and I'm always trying to improve, but I don't allow that to, how should I put it? I don't allow that to keep me in a state of fear. And all that to say, again, it doesn't discourage me. It's so all I can do day by day is try to improve the best I can and prepare for an uncertain future. But it's not the focus of my life and I don't allow it to consume me. I do what I can, but I can't linger on it. I'll put it that way. And I will say I find accomplishments in the little things that I achieve. There are times that I have victories, things that I've accomplished, and I even amaze myself that, wow, things that I thought would take longer, I've done it. And I try to take joy in those accomplishments. Another thing that I found to be very useful is having a plan that I can follow. For me, I find that gives me the most confidence. I've read different uh, self-help books over the years, especially when I was trying to dig my way out of financial debt years ago when we first got married. And there were certain books that laid out very practical, pragmatic plans. And I find taking that same approach with preparedness helps a lot, just laying out a timeline that I can achieve based on a budget. If you were to go and work in reverse and say, I've got X amount to spend this year, what are the items that I would want to tackle, starting with things like food, water, medical, and working backwards on a timeline? And that's the key. When we talk about goals, my encouragement to you is don't just say, hey, I'll this year I'm going to accomplish this. I'll go after this. You know, I'll have more food stores, more water stores, and just put that as your to-do. I mean, that's, that's the goal, right? But how do we practically go after that? And that's where it's so important to lay out those timelines and put specific things that you want to accomplish based on certain timelines. And I'll give you an example, just a couple that I'm working on. In March, uh, this January at the time of recording this in March, I plan to go through and reevaluate my food stores, update and address any expired food. There's a lot of food banks. So if I've got bank or food that's right on the edge of expired being expired, I'm going to take that. And, uh, you know, if it's a month or two off, I'm going to take that to local food banks. And I've shared this on the channel before, but in June, I'm going to begin to study, look at different EMT courses here in my area. 
Uh, I would like to be EMT certified or trained. I know some of you have written me some other courses to look at, especially wilderness uh, emergency training. And I'm going to try to weigh and balance all the options. But all that to say, I'm trying to set out timelines so I can say, okay, this at this month, I want to go after this specific goal. So all that to say, my encouragement to you and all of this is try to find some goals that you can go after this year. I know typically this is a speech you could give at the beginning of January. And for me, this is not about New Year's resolutions, but it's about setting out some things that I can do to help at least reduce my anxiety of not being prepared. And in the context of reducing stress, my encouragement to you is find ways to get outside, enjoy the sun. There's a lot to say that uh, about just being outdoors. If you've ever spent a lot of time, there's a lot that helps just mentally. And I know some of you in the comments on that poll that I did today mentioned exercise and eating healthy. Um, it's amazing. This just what eating healthy. And I, I know this is, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I suck at eating vegetables and it's always been a fight for me. And in the last month and a half, I've found ways to incorporate vegetables a lot more into my diet. And I find myself not needing as much caffeine. I'm not finding ways to needing ways to confidently, constantly compensate with adding more caffeine to my diet because just eating healthy has given me that energy boost. And it's all these little simple things. You'd be amazed at just taking a simple walk or jog daily. And I'd love to uh, get your feedback in the comments section of this video, share things that you have found that helps keep you level-headed. I just went through a list of things that I'm working on because for me at this time, it just comes down to keeping things in perspective, finding ways to allow my mind to just relax, taking steps that I can practically follow and not worrying or stressing about things I have no control over. So I'll finish by saying this. I alluded to this a couple of times during the video. I said that in the last few months, I uh, had a lot of issues that have been exhausting. I've been working on a big project for you, the community, and I'm gonna be releasing uh, a video this Sunday. If you got into this uh, point in the video, uh, just kind of give you a heads up. This coming Sunday on the channel, I'm gonna be doing a big announcement. This is something that I'm pretty excited about. Uh, something I've been working on since, or rather I've wanted to work on since the beginning of this channel, since I started and I had no idea how big of an undertaking it is to do what I'm working on right now. But all that to say, I'm going to lay it all out on Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday on the channel. So please make sure you come back and check out that video. All that to say, it's good stuff. Nothing's bad. There's not any issues in my life or I'm leaving the channel or anything like that. Uh, it's just stuff that I'm, I'm hoping will help you, the community, and I'm really excited about it. So it's been a lot of work and it's been exhausting. So again, thank you for those that have asked, you know, how things are going. I'm fine. It's just been a lot of work behind the scenes. So I'll wrap it up by saying this, stay encouraged during these times. I know there's a lot happening. A lot of it's out of our control, but do what you can and try to find pleasure in the simple things in life and get out, exercise, eat healthy, get on a bike, take a jog, walk, just find whatever you can do to create that outlet physically to begin to exercise and do whatever you can to eat healthy. I know these are simple things, but trust me, they make a big difference. As always, please stay safe out there.